Welcome to day 41 of our days of fasting and prayer. You're going, 41? I thought we were only doing 40. Actually, we are, but I want to give us an encouragement to continue on. Now, we've been fasting for 40 days. Some people have already seen answers to prayers they've been laying out. Other people are wondering, oh, I wonder, did anything really significant happen as I was doing this? And I want to encourage you with just a word today. The children of Israel are out of Egypt. They're ready to cross into the promised land. They sent spies into the land to walk among the land. And the spies came back with a bad report. It spread throughout the camp. And they decided not to go and take the land, except for just two people, uh, Joshua and Caleb. And Caleb is sitting here numerous times. And in his speeches, he says, let's go. Let's go take the land. God is with us. Let's go do it. But the children of Israel are saying, man, but there are giants in the land. In fact, they even give the giants a name, the sons of Anak. Now, I don't know who Anak is. He had big kids, obviously, in the hill country, in the high points, that there are these giants. Let me tell you, people, as we try to follow God, there will be lots of reasons for discouragement. There'll be attacks. There'll be giants that build themselves in the high points of your life. Problems that you say, I don't know if I can deal with this. And we're trying to trust Jesus in this. We're trying to have faith in God. We're trying to say, I want to take the land. But it just seems delayed after after delay after delay after delay and 45 years later now I don't know if that's an encouragement or a discouragement I don't have 45 years to wait what are you talking about but let's look at this 45 years later the land is being divided they have conquered it and the same Caleb that said let's go take the land looked at this Verse 11 of Joshua 14. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey, and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. Give me the hill country, the Lord promised. Let me go and take the hill country. Isn't that something? As you're waiting for the promises to be fulfilled, for you to step in to your destiny, for you to step into what God has for you, I'm going to speak for you that your strength would be just as strong as it was when you first believed, that you would not grow weary and give up during these times. I speak over you that God will empower you to go, even though it delays, even though the promises seem to take a long time, your faith would not fail. And there will come a time when you have that strength to be able to go to the giants and say, I'm going to take the land. And that's exactly what Caleb did. Let me pray that over you. Father, I just ask right now that the power of Holy Spirit would come upon your people. God, that our faith would not fail in these days, that we would have the same strength when we first believed as we do to this day, until that day of the fulfillment of your promise, that the giants will come down, they will not be able to stand, and we will possess the land. I speak over your people now that they will possess the land. God, we have fasted for 40 days and we have humbled ourselves. And now we stand back and see what you will do in our midst. Thank you for your faithfulness over your people. In your incredible name, amen.